Besides performing like its smaller and badged sibling, the X6M shares some of the car's shortcomings. Steering feel in the SUV is similarly lacking, although with differing expectations given its much larger size, the calibration here is actually more appropriate. The engine sound, however, is just as artificial as in other BMW M products that use the company's pipe it in through the stereo technology. While we don't expect a turbocharged V8 to sound as good as a flat plane crank V8 any more than we expect it to sound like a flathead V8, the engine in the X6M doesn't sound much like a V8 at all. The biggest demerit to the X6M comes in its ride quality, which ranges from firm to unacceptably, jarringly firm, depending on how its air suspension is adjusted. On roads that are less than perfect, the head toss gets to be enough that wearing a helmet as protection against the suede headliner seems like a not terrible idea. And then you'd be ready for the track, which is where the X6M best equips itself. Not that we imagine actually spotting any at track days. With a $103,050 base price, the X6M's window sticker is as extravagant as its test sheet. Save the snarky jokes about this being a German Aztec they weren't all of it funny when the first X6 showed up nearly a decade ago. And today, when the automotive world has gone all in on both horsepower and crossovers, what can we expect but things like the X6M? This sort of automotive indulgence has never made much sense, but that's exactly the point.